Hi, do you want to make 30k in your part time? Did you know using a CO2 laser machine the right way can make you feel like using a money printer? Cutting and engraving wood has been so profitable that people will quit their full time job. This video, we will tell you everything you need to know when working with wood, from choosing one to finishing one. Wood can be amazing when processed with a CO2 laser machine. And with proper procedures, a professionally made product can be produced and be readily sold on the market for profit. When choosing the right wood for a project, beginners have been wasting thousands of hard earned cash just in trial and error. But we are here to help you. Choosing the correct wood for your project could be instrumental. Basically, wood can be divided into three categories hardwood, softwood, and engineered processed wood. Hardwood, like birch and walnut, usually cost a bit more than the other two types of wood we mentioned, often comes in darker color and higher density. However, if you treat them right, they will produce astonishing final results while lasting for several decades. Softwood, like pine and basswood, are more easy to come by. In addition of lighter color and weight, they can be easily processed with a laser cutter and engraver. And with adequate post processing treatments, they can also last a reasonable time. Processed wood like plywood and MDF board are usually readily available for any project. They are both strong and capable when it comes to being laser processed. However, due to the presence of glue and other material in them, a working exhaust system and the help of air assist is recommended. Choosing the correct type of wood is the first step to a successful project. Remember, as wood, although being almost perfect to be laser cut and engraved, still are susceptible to burning and charring. With care, all such inconvenience can be avoided. Now you have selected the right material for your project. Before making your first 30K, we have to correctly set up your machine to best fit your project. Let's start with finding the correct focus lens and blowing from your air assist system. The correct and suitable focus lens can be the deal breaker for a successful project. When it comes to setting the correct focal lens, we encourage you to leave the hassle to the professionals. Consult your laser machine suppliers specialists is the most convenient and cost-effective method. If you would like to set the focal lens yourself, we urge you to experiment with different settings and see the results firsthand to decide what's the best for your project. What about the air assist system? The using of air assist can efficiently prevent the wood from burning and charring when being laser processed. It also blows off unwanted debris and avoid flare-ups. After setting up the correct parameters, we can start the cutting and engraving process. We included some tips that some of our clients shared with us to double your profits. For your benefit, we will divide those two into separate sessions for this video. First, let's talk about cutting. Before the actual cutting begins, we suggest cleaning the surface of the wood and the using of some masking tape. It will prevent unwanted brownness on the edges of the cutting, subsequently resulting a better final product. When cutting thin material, a correct setting of cutting speed and laser power can go a long way. Again, experiment or ask the specialists for convenient inputs to find the right one for your project. When cutting thick material, a CO2 laser machine can take on most of the task without breaking a sweat. Yet, extra thick ones might require a more advanced setup. Some even need a laser power up to 300 watts or more. Then, let's talk about engraving. For engraving on wood, things get a little more complicated. We will tell you the secrets of extra fine engraving that could add some extra digits to your bank account. For engraving, we would like to talk about the difference between a regular engraving that includes simple patterns like words and numbers and complex engravings such as portraits and pictures. When engraving simple patterns, DPI of a machine won't matter much due to the simplicity of your design. Sometimes setting a higher DPI can even ruin your engraving. When engraving complex patterns, DPI plays a major role as a higher one will result in a more detailed and refined engraving. 
In a nutshell, higher DPI doesn't necessarily equals higher engraving results. Choosing the one that matches your needs is far better than cranking the settings to the maximum. Another honorable mention is the using of borax solution when engraving. When mixed with water and pre-treated onto the wooden material, a darker engraving can be achieved. But here's a catch. It seems borax can be easily wiped off and smear all over the engraved piece. Due to this, a sealing post-processing is needed. In addition, borax isn't exactly safe when using a food-related engraved product. For instance, an engraved chopping board. So, be mindful when dealing with borax. Finally, after cutting and engraving, some optional post-processing is often needed to achieve a better and professional result. Who doesn't love some extra zeros on their balance? Follow these crucial steps to secure them. Some cleaning and sanding will make your product polished and multiple runs of lacquer spray paint is recommended. The benefit of post-processing is apparent. They simply make your final product look wonderful. It makes your final product more resistant to weather and environment. It makes your final product last longer. That will be all. This information will keep you going for some time, and we sincerely hope that you will find your success in laser processing wood. If you still have some questions that needs answering, leave a comment below and we will do our best to solve it for you. Consider leaving a like and subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. Till next time.